everyone. Happy Friday. This is Kelly at estampabump.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I have some new products to show you today. Isn't this a cute card? I am in love with the pocket full of sunshine bundle and I can't wait to show this to you. It's so cute. Here's a little thank you card that I made. And do you love the shiny lenses on my glasses? I hope you can see that in the camera. It's pretty cool. I'll show you how to do that too. Let's get started. Okay, so here's the cardstock that we need. I have Berry Burst, which I think is my favorite color. I also love the new Lemon Lime Twist. So it's a close, it's a close tie between those two. These are this is one of the new in colors. Basic black and whisper white. These are just scraps. Then I've got an inside. For my card which is four by five and a quarter a piece of basic black that is four by five and a quarter and then I've got a piece of whisper white here I see I've got like fingernail marks all over here from when my fingernails were painted um, this piece is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then our card base five and a half by eight and a half berry burst and an envelope. Don't forget, we need to stamp up our envelopes. Okay, so for my card, the first thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of stamping here. I've got this cute sunglasses. Let me show you this bundle first. How about if I find it? There we go. Okay, this is the pocket full of sunshine. And isn't this just adorable? This will be a great card to... Um, make a die cut this little pocket and put money in it or you can put the pretend money in it it's got a little sunshine with some rays these sunglasses just really had me with a matching framelit so lots of fun little elements in this I'm going to stamp my sunglasses in black ink I'm using the Memento black ink pad going to stamp those on the berry burst and then we're going to die cut them so hang tight I'll be right back Where my dies go right here just gonna put that on there and die cut it and here's our cute little sunglasses aren't they just adorable I love them okay now that we have that done we are going to stamp up our front layer and I'm using a new background stamp called burlap isn't that cool mm, love it I have a lot of things in mind for this stamp I'm using smoky slate and remember when you use these background stamps you want to leave them laying on your stamping surface and bring your cardstock to the layer so you leave it laying here, and then you're going to come in with your piece of cardstock. And take a piece of scrap paper and use a nice flat hand to um, put pressure on your cardstock so it gets a good even image stamped. Isn't that cool? I love it. You'll be seeing a lot more of this background stamp from me for sure. Okay, so we've got our sunglasses done and I am going to adhere this to the black layer. By the way, all the dimensions will be on my blog at www.estampabove.com. So you can always hop on over there and find them all in one place if you'd like. And then I've got this black baker's twine. This is really, I've been using it a lot lately and really adds that. I just needed one more little thing for my card tonight when I was designing it. And um, this was the ticket. It's like, oh, baker's twine, yes. And then I'm just gonna tie this. Now, remember, little tip for you Let's see if we can get my twine out there. Is that I always, what is going on? Oh, <laughs> it ended. Like, where did that come from? 
I always like to tie this in a knot because it's baker's twine. The knots are really small, right? So I like to tie it in a knot and then I deal with the bow part of it. So there we go. Got it in a nice knot here. And now I can tie a bow without that coming loose. There's a great tip. And I always like to hold on to my tails while I pull them down. That way they don't curl up. The um, loops don't curl up funny. I don't like that either. There's a lot of things I don't like. I'm getting pretty picky, right? That's okay. All right. Next, I brought in my layering squares. Oh my, my. How many do you get in here? It's a lot. I'm not going to count them right now, but you get a ton of squares in this pack of dies. I highly recommend them. And we are going to use the scalloped one on our black. And then we're going to go with the smaller one and we're going to run this through the big shot. Then we're also going to take our scrap of white and notice that this square is just a little bit bigger than the one I'm using on the inside here. This is um, for the inside of our sign and I'm going to run this through. So I'll be right back. Hang tight. And here comes our pieces. So we cut out this cute little frame with the scalloped edge and then this piece that'll fit nicely behind the frame. It's just a little bit bigger than the opening so that makes things easier for us. I'm going to stamp my You Dazzle Me. In the Rich Razzleberry, oh, it's Rich Razzleberry. In the Berry Burst. My new favorite color, I can't even remember the name of it. And now I'm going to take my little frame. Have you noticed, if you've been perusing the internet, you see that little frames are really popular right now. You'll see a lot of frames on cards. It's, um, it's trending right now. There you go. You can be trendy too. Just took some regular tape and cut it so that it's nice and thin and put it on the front of my little frame. And then we're going to get some dimensionals, which I have right here. And I happen to have taken the back off one of these by accident. So I'm hoping it'll stick. There we go. Stuck to my layer so I don't have to waste it. Put dimensionals all around the outside edge here. And we're going to adhere this to our card front. Oh my gosh, I keep pulling off my tape because the dimensionals are so sticky. Here we go. I'm just going to tilt this a little bit because I liked that look. Then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back of my sunglasses because they should have dimensionals too. Oops, I forgot that I need to kind of move this one down a little bit it's going to go on top of the frame. So make sure you put that dimensional down a little further on your lenses. And now I'm going to go just like this. Isn't that cute? I think this is so cute. Last but not least here, we are going to add some rhinestones. I'm going to put three of them right in my frame because it does say that you dazzle me so I want there to be some sparkle and some bling going on here. I've got three right in a row and then I'm going to use the little ones to bling up my glasses. There we go. Cool. Before I go any further, I want to stamp the inside of my card, and I'm using the One Big Meaning stamp. Oops, that's not the right one. Here we go. And I'm just going to use this thank you, because I always need thank you cards. You could make this card anything. This would be a great birthday card. You could use it for just about anything. And then also inside the pocket full of sunshine are these little, is this little heart stamp. So I'm going to just put that right down at the end after the Y, or I mean the Y-O-U. Boy, I can't even spell. Kind of a mess tonight. <laughs> because I didn't even fold my card yet. You guys are gonna get so tired of my nonsense. You know, some days you just have are off. Other days are on, some days are off. I don't know where my bone folder went. Find one of these. There we go. 
Here's my thank you. Put that right on the inside. This is a really quick and easy card to make, which some days, like today, is really good because I needed a little quick and easy tonight. All right. If you guys follow me on Facebook, you saw my weed whacker saga. I was doing the weed whacking, and I've never done that before, and it was horrible. But anyways, I am proud to tell you that I am the new owner of a battery-operated weed whacker that will not kill me. How about that? Yeah. Gosh, I was so excited about my card. I almost forgot to show you how I made the lenses all shiny to look like they're glass. And what I did is I used the fine tip glue pen. And you want to do this after your card is completely finished because you're going to need to set it aside and let it dry. And I just went around the outside edge here and then I filled in each lens with this glue that will stay shiny. Remember the old crystal effects that we used to have? Well, we don't sell that anymore. And by golly, I miss it. So we figured out that we can do all of the techniques we used to do with that with this fine tip glue pen. And it works great. Isn't that fun? Shine, shine, shine. And these little bubble things will settle down a little bit, my little indentations there, but that's how you make it all nice and shiny. One more thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna clean off my stamp and I'm gonna ink this up in the Berry Burst. And I wanna put some little sunglasses on the front of my card. Isn't that cute? Okay, easy peasy. This was a super simple, fast, easy card. Smoky slate, gray, on the burlap stamp, and the berry burst. Cute, absolutely adorable. I hope you enjoyed this. I think you're gonna see a lot more of this bundle coming from me because I can't wait to start playing with the pocket. I didn't even do anything with the pocket and I've got this super cute card here, right? Remember, if you haven't placed an order in the new catalog yet, holy cow, get online. Head on over to my blog www.estampabove.com and you can place an order online. You can do it right from the comfort of your home in your pajamas. Um, get yourself some new stamping stuff. Lots of great stuff in that catalog. And if you need a copy of the catalog, I would be happy to mail one to you. Pop me an email at kelly at estampabove.com and I can get one right out in the mail. I wish you all a wonderful weekend. It's supposed to be super hot and humid like in the 90s here in Wisconsin. Most people are cringing, but I am so excited. I can't hardly wait. I love the hot weather and um, we have finally gotten our pool to a point where we can turn on the heater and heat up that water and have a great family weekend. So wishing you a wonderful weekend too. Add a little sparkle to someone's day. Send them a card.